So I'm gonna demonstrate what uh, a medical assessment should look like. Again, I've been doing this for 20 years. It does not have to look like the way I'm gonna do it. Um, but it has to be somewhat put together, okay? And feel free to, to follow along, make sure I hit every point. If I miss something after the camera's off, we could scold me. Um, hopefully I don't miss anything though. You watch. You ready? All right, first things first, BSI for my partner and I. Um, before I get on scene, is the scene safe? Yes, it is. I've been told I have a patient with chest pain um, and I only have one patient. Um, I am an EMT, so I would like some additional resources. I would like an uh, ALS ambulance to meet me. And because it's chest pain, I'm gonna consider C-spine, but I'm not gonna bring in my C-spine equipment, okay? As I enter the house, I see that I have a patient. To me, right now, he looks good. My general impression is good. Um, I walk, okay, now it's fair. He's holding his chest, so I, I, he has a fair general impression. I walk up, he is alert, he's looking at me, so I know that his APU is A. Hi sir, my name is Matt with the fire department. What's your name? Hi Matt, how you doing? Good. Um, so I have felt a pulse. He does have a good radio pulse. His skin signs look okay. He's talking to me, so I know he has a patent airway, and he is ventilating fine. Okay, um, what's going on today? Just chest pain. I, I, I've got a little bit of chest history, and then I took a nitro, and that didn't seem to do anything. And the doc said after I took a nitro, I was supposed to call you if it was still there. So Okay, so I'm going to stop at this point. So right now, I don't feel like I need to load him in my ambulance and get out of out of his house really quick. We are gonna definitely transport him, but we're gonna stay and complete our assessment first. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna go into my OP car ST. Um, when, did this, when did this pain start, Blaine? Uh, when did it start? Probably about 15 minutes ago. Okay, was it a sudden onset or was it kind of gradual or? Bang, just bang. Yeah, just like out of the blue. Okay, so he has a sudden onset going on for about 15 minutes. What were you doing when it started? Nothing. Just sitting in a chair and watching TV. Okay, so unprovoked. Uh, do me a favor, Blaine. Take a real deep breath. Does that make the pain any worse? It's still, still pretty still constant. Was. What if I push on it? Does that make it worse? No. No. no Have you been coughing at all? Or? No. No. no okay. I've been pretty healthy. What does it feel like? What's the quality of your pain? You know, it, it's just almost. It's almost more pressure than pain. You know, I would say. You know, it's just kind of just. Ooh. Right there. Like a weight? Yeah. Like how much pound? How much weight? Like my kid's sitting on my chest. I don't know your kid. How big is your kid? Seven. Seven? Seven. Average seven-year-old. <laughs> okay. Seven-year-old. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Um, does, I think he weighs about 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Um, any, does the pain move anywhere? Do you feel it funny anywhere else? Uh, it was in my back, and then now all of a sudden it's kind of like up in here. So up in your jaw? Back. Yeah. Okay. How does your arm feel? Uh, like an arm. Okay. And on a scale of, I guess. on a scale of zero to ten, zero being no pain, ten being the worst pain ever, how bad is it right now? Probably about a six. A six? And did it start out as a six? Uh, well, I mean, originally it was probably about an eight, and just sitting down, it got a little better, and then and I took, took the nitro. nitro, and you're down to about a six yeah. now. Okay. And I already know that it's been going on for about fifteen minutes, so I pretty feel pretty confident about my OPQRST. Um, are you nauseated at all, or? No. Short of breath? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Are you allergic to any medicine, Blaine? Uh, no. No allergies? Food allergies, but that's... But that's nothing to medicine? No. Okay. Um, what medicines do you take? Uh, I take, um, I take Libitor. Okay. And then I take, um, a, uh, a Cinepro for my blood pressure. Okay. And then, uh, Cardizem, I think is the other one. Okay. And, and then you, the nitro. and then the nitro. And then the nitro. Oh, and I take a baby aspirin every day. You take a baby aspirin every day? Okay, and you took that this morning? I did. Okay. Um, past pertinent history. Um, so I know he's got high cholesterol. I know he has hypertension. Um, and you've you've had some kind of heart issues. You have nitro. What, what kind of heart issues do you Angina. have? Angina. Angina? This is what he called it. He said the <sighs> arteries are kind of plugged. I'm supposed to go in and get a couple stents, but it's a ways out. You haven't had an actual heart attack yet, no. though? No. Just angina? Okay. Um, do you smoke cigarettes? Uh, used to. When did you quit? Uh, about six months ago. Okay, good. Are you diabetic? Uh, no. Any family history of cardiac issues? Uh, Dad had a heart attack when he was 54, and then my Uncle Pete had a heart attack when he was in his early 50s, and that one got him. 
I got him. I got him. And then uh, my brother was 58, and he's had three stints. Wow. And how old are you? 51. Perfect. All right. Well, we're heading that way. Um, <laughs> last oral intake. What have you had to eat today? Uh, lunch. I had a bowl of bourbon and some crackers. A bowl of bourbon? I ain't laying right. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had, uh, had a, uh, a sandwich. Yeah, just a turkey sandwich. Yeah. Are you going to the bathroom okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. everything's coming out okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and I already got events leading up. I'm pretty happy with all that, right? So what I like to do now, Blaine, is I'd like to. Uh, so right now it sounds pretty cardiac to me. He's giving me a pretty good cardiac story, uh, especially with his history, with his family history. Um, it's not kind of. He's not describing pleuritic chest pain. He's not really describing muscle skeletal chest pain. So what I like to do uh, right now, Blaine, is give you uh, four baby aspirin. I understand you took one. What time did you take your baby aspirin this morning? Uh, six o'clock this morning. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give you four more. These are flavored. They're orange. Can I take four? Sorry, took one. Yeah. Take three? Nope. If we were within six hours, we would have counted that one, but we're going to give you all four. Okay. Go ahead and chew those up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I also want to get a full... Okay. I also want to get a full set of vitals because I, I want to give them nitro, but I want to do some other things first. Which get a full set of vitals. So blood pressure. <laughs> blood pressure will say is 150 over uh, 80. Pulse rate is uh, nice and strong at 80. His respiratory rate appears to be about 16. Uh, we can even throw a pulse ox on him, and we'll say it's 95, 96 percent. Um, if I was an advanced, at this time I would start an IV. Um, but for the rest of us, we're going to just keep rolling with it. Uh, Blaine, let me take a look at your nitro real quick. And you said you've already taken one this morning, uh, and it I helped. Took one about 15, 20 minutes ago. Took one about 15 minutes ago, and it helped a little bit. So it that's did. a pretty good sign. Uh, you don't take any erectile dysfunction meds, do you? No, they won't let me because I'm on the nitro. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Makes sense. So it is within date, and he did tell me these are his. So, um, and his blood pressure is over 100, and I am suspecting cardiac chest pain. So what I want you to do, Blaine, is put another one of these underneath your tongue. Um, I'm sure you already know the, the um, side effects. You might get a little bit of a headache, and uh, might be a little burning under your tongue. Just go ahead and put that right underneath your tongue. And we'll wait five minutes. Um, it does burn. It should. <laughs> at this point, um, we can get him in the ambulance. Um, yeah, you because know, I'm going to wait at least five minutes before I give him the next nitro. So we'll get him in the ambulance. Um, so we're in the ambulance. I'm going to reassess him. Take another blood pressure. <laughs> we'll say his blood pressure is about 130 over... 80, pulse rate's still about 80, respiratory rate's fine. Um, how's that How's that pain now, Blaine? It was a uh, 8, then it was a 6. What is it now? It's almost gone. I'd say we're probably maybe a 2 or a 3. A 2 or a 3? Okay, good. So we're making good progress. What I want to do then, Blaine, is I want to give you a third, uh, third and final nitro. Okay. Just underneath your tongue, go ahead and let it dissolve. All right. Um, had he have said zero, of course I wouldn't have given him the third nitro. Had he have said one, I would have given him the nitro. I want him to be pain free is my goal. Um, so uh, after that third nitro, I'm going to go ahead and get another blood pressure. We'll say it's 120 over 70. Pulse rate is 90. Respiratory rate is 16. His O2 saturations are still in the mid to high 90s. Um, so my field impression is that this was cardiac, some kind of angina. Um, we need to take him to the hospital because it could be something much worse. We don't have the, the capability of doing a 12 lead right now, so we need to um, run him on into the hospital. Um, he's already in my ambulance, so we're just going to keep going, and we're going to monitor him every five five minutes. Um, I'll listen to lung sounds, make sure I have clear lung sounds. We can also look at his ankles, make sure his ankles aren't swollen. He doesn't have any history of CHF, um, but we'll check, we'll do a couple checks just to make sure, and then get him to the hospital. All right, and again, for you advanced guys, throw an IV in him, and uh, that's it. All right.